in freedom. The Zoro Statement is delivered on behalf of ADF International, the World Evangelical Alliance, and the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission of the Southern Baptist Convention. Mr. President, we note with deep regret the rejection by the Government of Malaysia of nine out of a total of ten recommendations addressing the deteriorating situation of freedom of religion or belief in the country. International human rights standards that protect the right to freedom of religion or belief include respect for the freedom to adopt or change one's religion or belief, and furthermore, to manifest it in teaching, practice, worship and observance at an individual, collective, private and public level without being subject to discrimination, hostility or violence. In this regard, we are highly concerned that the Malaysian government is willing to undertake measures to guarantee freedom of religion or belief uh, only insofar as they are within the, the framework of its constitution. Indeed, while the Malaysian constitution provides for laws to control or restrict the propagation of any religious doctrine or belief among persons professing Islam, this provision has been used to enact anti-propagation enactments that prohibit the free expression of individuals and the manifestation of religious practices of minority religious groups. We therefore urge the government of Malaysia to put an end to such restrictions and ensure that they are able to fully enjoy their human rights on an equal basis with other citizens. We also wish to express our disappointment over Malaysia's rejection of a recommendation to amend the National Registration Act to remove all references to religion and identity <laughs> cards. As stated by the Special Rapporteur on Forbes, in all contexts where religion appears on an ID card, it becomes an instrument for discrimination or privileged treatment on account of religion. We therefore call upon Malaysia to reconsider its position and bring the relevant legislation in line with the requirements of Article 18 of the UDHR by removing any indication of religious status on its ID cards.